Michelle, Business Acceleration Coach, coming to you from my gym this morning because that's where I have all my great ideas. So this morning I wanted to talk a little bit about self-sabotage and are you doing it and how can you actually tell? I guarantee that you're doing it because we all do it. And we self-sabotage because of low self-worth. So much that we do in business and we do in life and what holds us back is not believing that we're actually worth it. So when we Self-sabotage happens when you go for a goal, but your thoughts and your beliefs are actually moving in another direction. When that happens, our brain always wants to keep us safe. So if we're moving towards a goal of, say, getting five new clients a week, but we don't feel like we're worthy of five new clients a week, or we're not sure that our, our product is good enough for five new clients a week, and we're worried about actually finding the time to do those five new clients a week, if we have any fears around that, it doesn't matter how much energy you put into that goal, your mind is going to help you to self-sabotage. So life will throw up things for you. Oh, the kids get sick, or the cat needs to go to the vet, or something happens to stop you from having to do that. Your life will provide you with an opportunity to skip out on that to keep you safe. Now, the way that you can tell that you're self-sabotaging is by the way that you feel. So when you think about your goal, do you feel expansive and excited, or do you feel afraid? If you feel afraid when you read your goal, now I'm not talking like a little bit sick in the stomach excited, because if you're a little bit sick in the stomach excited, it just means that you really care about the outcome of the goal. I'm talking like when you read your goal, do you, are you going, yeah, right? Or are you going, oh, hell no, but if I get that, how will I, you know, like if you're really getting a knot in your chest when you start to think about your goal, then chances are you are going to self-sabotage. So what can you actually do to stop that? Well, to be easy, because let's face it, it's really hard to dig into self-sabotage on your own. So if you really do struggle with self-sabotage and you're really ready to get ahead, please, by all means, call me, because it really is tricky to do on your own. But what you can start doing on your own to begin with is you can start to look at other areas of your life, because what you do in one area of your life definitely affects other areas of your life, without a doubt. So if you're self-sabotaging because you're not getting up and going to the gym in the morning because, oh, you're a bit tired, or you went to bed late the other day or you're still not feeling very well and you can see that I'm still not feeling very well right I've still got my allergies but I'm here in the gym because if I fail on one thing I'm like oh yeah I can just fail on the others just like when you're on a diet right and you eat a piece of cake you're like well hell I might as well just eat the whole cake so it's the same in your life if you give up on one thing it's very easy then to give up on the other things so my tip for you today is to have a look around your life a little bit and see where you're self-sabotaging or letting go of what you actually want to achieve in other areas of your life and tidy those up first and then see if that makes a difference for you. I hope you have a fabulous day. I'm going to get back to my workout. Bye.